What's going on? In this video, I'm gonna be unboxing this right here, the iFooted Spider Crab phone mount. Now, this might look really simple and basic. However, this is definitely not a standard basic phone mount. iFootage pretty much did what they do best with this and took a standard basic thing that's pretty much already been done before and then innovated on that and added some crazy unique features like they do with almost all their stuff. And so this is definitely not just any standard phone holder. This thing has some crazy unique features built into it. So let's get this thing unboxed. All right, so pretty basic. This just slides out here. And then there's of course quality control, uh, certificate, user manual, and warranty card. And then all that's left in there is some foam and then the phone holder itself. So I have the red one right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. And so I have used this already and kind of, you know, went through it, tested it a little bit so far. So I have some first thoughts on this and kind of know some of the features and some of the things about it. And this thing is crazy. So first of all, this is it right here. It comes folded and pretty compact for the most part. And you can get this in a bunch of different colors too. I know you can get it in black and yellow, maybe blue. And then of course the red that I have here. So like I said, it comes folded like this and it's pretty compact and pretty small. I mean, it probably fit in your pocket or, you know, just a little pouch in a bag or something. Um, for comparison, this is just a standard Joby tripod phone mount right here. This is probably one that you have, or, you know, just the basic one that, you know, you'd get at Best Buy or Walmart or whatever. Now, I haven't really had any sort of crazy issues with this other than, you know, the mount, there's just one mount here. It doesn't like tilt or rotate at all. So if I screw this onto something that isn't a ball head, and you know, pretty much wherever it ends up once it's tight is where it's looking. So there's really no way to, you know, pan it or even tilt it up and down or anything like that. It's just obviously a really simple phone mount. You know, you can get away with it. This is kind of the one I've been using. And like I said, I haven't had crazy issues with it. It's just a little inconvenient sometimes, but obviously it's way, way smaller than the iFootage one. But yeah, this is just kind of a quick comparison between these. Obviously iFootage is quite a bit bigger, but let's talk about some of the features this thing's packing. So if we go ahead and unfold it right here, you can see you can pretty much tilt it up and down. Um, and it's kind of just a friction mount, however you can tighten and loosen it if it's too tight or loose for you. So I'm gonna get my phone out right here. These fold out like that. So, you know, it kind of makes it more compact when it's folded up but you fold out these little grip arm things. Both of them go out like this, and then I can just pretty much place my phone right in there and, you know, it's gripped onto my phone. It's not gonna fall out very easily. And so, yeah, that's pretty basic right there. But then you can set it on the tabletop so it stands up all by its own. And then you can, of course, tilt it up and down like this. So if you're on a Zoom call or something like that on your phone or a FaceTime call, you know, you can kind of have it right here in front of you, talk to your phone or even watch videos or something. Um, like you probably just saw, if you tilt it too much vertically, it's just gonna tip, depending on what size phone you have probably. So, you know, that's not the best thing in the world. But also if you like vlogging or anything like that, you can pretty much turn this all the way right here and it has this soft rubber on it. So you can pretty much hold it like a grip and vlog with it like this, which is also pretty nice. And another thing, it has a cold shoe right in the top here. So you can put any sort of cold shoe accessory like a light on there, um, which is another just awesome feature added into this that you don't really think about, but it's really nice to have on there. And of course you can rotate it also um, 360 degrees and it kind of locks into, you know, every 90 degrees it'll lock in and stay firm right on there, which is really nice. It's a really good mechanism there. So it's not gonna be stuck at a position like that, unless you want it to, of course, cause you can do that, but it pretty much just snaps in at the 90 degree increments. And so all those features already make it pretty neat and really nice. You know, it's, it's built really well. It's made out of plastic. I wish there was a little bit more metal because this part right here, I noticed kind of flexes sometimes because this is pretty tight friction mount and I see it kind of bending a little bit. I'm not worried about it breaking, but if there was a little bit more metal in this, I feel like I'd be more comfortable with having this, you know, pretty much last forever. However, it is good quality plastic and it makes it really light as well. So there's really not much to complain about there. Obviously you're not gonna have like a 20 pound phone you know, in this. So durability really doesn't seem like it's gonna be an issue. But of course, I've only had this for like a day, so I really can't talk about the durability of this in the long term. But let's get on to the really crazy part about this. So like I said, it has this nice comfortable rubber grip here if you wanna hold it and pretty much use it like a selfie stick or for vlogging. But this actually slides off right there. Then you can, you know, store this wherever. And then this is an Arca Swiss mount right here. So I can actually mount this on the tripod I'm using right now. I can't really show you because I'm using it. However, this is an Arca Swiss quick release plate. So you can slide this right into any Arca Swiss tripod head or anything that you have with an Arca Swiss quick release plate, which is super nice for me because I actually use the iFootage M30 ball head most of the time because this works perfectly with that and then any other uh, Arca Swiss quick release plate. But it gets even better because you can actually 
flip this out right here. And I think that kind of makes it more stable when it's sitting down as well. But if you flip this out right here, this essentially changes the Arca Swiss into a Manfrotto 501 plate. So I can put this on a heavy duty fluid head like this right here. This is the iFootage Komodo K7 with like I said, a Manfrotto 501 plate on top, a professional, something you'd use with a cinema camera, a high quality, professional, big plate. Then I just slide this on right there. Like, I think that's in, maybe? It's kind of finicky, but there we go. Slide that in there, clamp it down. And now that is in a Manfrotto 501 plate. It's solid in there. It's a little finicky because there is just a small contact area with that thing that flips out. However, you know, it's not gonna come out that snug in there. It's pretty crazy to have that feature. Manfrotto 501 and an Arca Swiss quick release plate, as well as of course the quarter 20 thread on the bottom there. Now, one final feature of this I wanna mention is that this uh, quarter 20 thread on the bottom here, but you can pretty much unlock it and this will rotate once it's, you know, all the way threaded onto the quarter 20. So if it isn't positioned how you want it and you don't have a ball head or anything, you can pretty much tighten it as much as you can and then rotate it while it's still tightened, lock it back in place in 90 degree increments. And then if your, you know, tripod can't turn or whatever, if there's no other way to, you know, turn it left to right, you can pretty much just use that and, you know, pan it wherever you want to look lock it back in, or you don't even really need to lock it if it's not gonna move on its own. And then you can start filming or taking photos from there. So that is pretty much all the features packed into this tiny little phone mount. Like I said, this is nothing compared to just a standard phone mount, like this cheap Joby one. This is pretty much the final phone mount you'd ever need. Now it is a little bit on the pricier side. I think it's about $30. You know, meanwhile, this one's probably $10 or something. You might be able to get it cheaper than that on Amazon. So this is a different league in terms of pricing, but also in terms of the features and just reliability, but also in terms of the features and pretty much the bang for the buck you can get out of this is insane. But that is pretty much it for the unboxing and first impressions of this. I'll leave a link down in the description if you wanna check this out. I was not paid by footage or told to say anything about this. Um, I just wanna do an unboxing of it. However, they did send me this for free. So, you know, if that changes your opinion about what I think of it, I just wanna let you know that I did get this sent to me for free, but everything I just said in this video is just 100% my opinion. I really do think this thing is awesome. That's it for this video. Go check out my other channel. I'll link it down in the description if you want to see more camera related content. And then feel free to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to this channel as well. And I'll see you in the next one.